scheduled to order at 6.35 p.m. Dr. Roach, would you please do roll call? Mr. Ann Berenson? Here. Ms. Davenport? Here. Ms. Francois? Here. Mr. Schmidt? Present. Mr. Farugi? Mr. Farugi? You're, you're muted, Commissioner. Okay. And Chairwoman Ford? Here. Okay. Will you please stand to say the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, America. And, to and to the Republic for which it stands, which stands. One, nation, one nation under God, under God indivisible, indivisible with liberty, with liberty and, justice and justice for all. In accordance with the provisions of Chapter 231, New Jersey Public Laws of 1975, the Open Public Meetings Act, adequate notice of this meeting has been provided by giving notice to the Courier News, posting the agenda in the public lobby of this building 48 hours prior to this meeting, delivery of this notice to the Franklin Township Clerk at least 48 hours prior to this meeting, and mailing notice to those persons properly requesting to be mailed notification of meetings at least 48 hours prior to this meeting. Is there a motion to open this meeting for public comments? Ms. Uh, Chairwoman, if I may, maybe we should swear in the two members now so that you have full complement of the board voting on things. Um, why don't we start with Ms. Uh, Davenport? Three, three members, Brian. We have, uh, is there a third here to be sworn in? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, ah, uh, uh, that's right. I'm sorry. My mistake. He's not on, right? Yeah. Right. He's not on. I apologize. Yeah. So we'll start, since there's an alternate and a, and a full member, we'll start with uh, Ms. Da we'll take you separately, uh, Ms. Davenport. Uh, if you can just uh, raise your right hand and repeat after me. Uh, I, and state your name. I, Vanessa Davenport. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and allegiance to the same and to the governments established and to the governments established in the United States in the United States and in this state and in this state under the authority of the people under the authority of the people and that I will faithfully and that I will faithfully impartially and impartially and justly perform and justly perform all the duties of all the duties of sewage authority alternate number two member sewerage authority alternate number two member of the township of Franklin of the township of Franklin according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability so help me God so help me God congratulations you are now alternate number two congratulations, congratulations. and Ms. Francois Welcome. you have to be sworn in as a full member there you go, Vanessa. say it again we said congrats. Oh, congrats. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Francois, if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me, I, and state your name. 
Uh, Kimberly Francois. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. And that I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of. All the duties of. Sewage authority member. Sewage authority member. Of the township of Franklin. Of the township of Franklin. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. You are. Congratulations. We'll member. Congrats. Congratulations, Commissioner. Thank you. That's again. Council. <laughs> Okay, with that, is there a motion to open the public, excuse me, the meeting for public comments? So move. Your second? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motions carry. Seeing that there is no one here from the public, is there a motion to close the meeting for public comments? We'll close. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motions carry. With regard to the minutes from the reorganization meeting of February 6th this year, um, is there, has everyone received the minutes first of all? I would take that as a yes since no one says they, they haven't, they won't read it. Um, is there a motion to accept those minutes as is? Motion to approve as is. Second. Is there a second? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motions carry. With regard to the working session board meeting for February 6th of this year, um, the minutes for that meeting. You've all received those minutes. Is there a motion to approve those minutes as is? Motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Okay, now we'll move to the executive summary, professional reports, executive director. Thank you, Chairwoman. Uh, I'm just bring that up now. <clears throat> okay, uh, our legal team has been very busy in the last month. Uh, many of the items, uh, some of them, but not limited to uh, the review of our public bids for Somerset uh, Street Pump Station, the Marcy Street issues have uh, been addressed. Uh, Development applications, developers agreements, interlocal agreements, Western Canal, rebuild project, the Brookline project, personnel policy for 2024, the grinder bid, uh, the grinder public bid, the rules, rates, and regs, uh, and then general support uh, and for meetings. Uh, the Marcy Street uh, sewer um, sewer shed rehabilitation project uh, is complete. The flow meters that were installed and that study uh, is concluding this month, and we are awaiting those reports. Solar project and the electric vehicle project. Uh, the meeting was held with a solar advocate and a vendor. 
Um, nothing concluded from that meeting, but we are continuing our investigation into options of a power purchase agreement versus owning our own system. Uh, the finance platform upgrade and migration, I'm going to uh, ask uh, Dr. Roach to just give us a quick update where we are with the Edmonds upgrade. Okay. We uh, did a systems uh, capability and compatibility test with Edmonds, and we did pass. So we are set to move forward on the financial side and the utility side. Uh, we will begin the uh, implementation uh, process in August on one and November on the other. We're looking to go live in September with the financial platform and in November with the utilities platform. So everything is moving according to schedule. Thank you, Dr. Roach. You're welcome. The High Bay, the High Bay Garage project, we are in phase two. We did, uh, the uh, engineer did coordinate with Franklin Township to install, to receive the water uh, meter pit equipment and the installation. That should be uh, completed this month. And the engineer is continuing to work with the Delaware Raritan Canal Commission for the 100 year flood elevation study. And he is also developing a hydro soil group and limited detailed study of Middle Bush Brook. The Somerset Street pump station uh, rehabilitation. Um, we did accept the bid evaluation and awarded uh, that bid to the lowest bidder. And we are waiting for a schedule from them along with the shop drawings and the review of the same. The Brookline Avenue sewer uh, rehabilitation project, which is uh, the cousin project to the uh, Somerset Street pump station. We did, uh, the SED did approve our bid schedule. The addendum uh, was sent to DEP with uh, the contractor qualifications and that was uploaded to the H2 loans for our financing. We are proposing a schedule that would advertise uh, the, our re-advertisement of that bid on March 12th, where the bid opening would be on April 6th and the award to that bid on May 7th. The Wesson Canal pump station uh, rebuild and relocation project, a meeting was held in February, February with all interested parties. I did send the land appraisal to PSCNG uh, we're waiting for them to complete their review of that. And we are uh, finalizing the survey base map of that, uh, of that property. Commerce Street Drive Pump Station Rehabilitation Project. The SED did approve, uh, the, the, we did receive the SED approval for that project. And I just got noticed tonight that we did receive the NJDEP engineering review and the engineer is preparing a response to that. So that's good news. Uh, that project hopefully will go from yellow back into the green. Shirley Avenue pump station rehabilitation project. The flow meters uh, were, uh, have been installed until the end of March. A meeting was held with FTSA staff to review the concept plans. However, alternative options were introduced and they will be presented to the executive director in the very near future. Campus Drive um, Rehabilitation Project, there's nothing new to report on that. Um, the project from Hell, the uh, window and door replacement project is still continuing. Uh, the vendor did replace uh, several damaged glass window panes, uh, I believe on March 1st, and the remaining touch-up items uh, are to be scheduled. Uh, under general, there is nothing new to report regarding the New Brunswick agreement or any amendments to that. I'd like to ask my operations manager, who's back and healthy as ever, to just go over his operations report real quick before I move on to the executive director report. Thank you, Joe. Good evening, everyone. Uh, under operations for February 2024, general maintenance at all of our pump stations is always ongoing. I'd like to make note that our staff did rebuild uh, a total of six pumps, submersible pumps, at a total of three pump stations, two pumps at each station. Um, we did have a force main break on a six inch force main leaving the Wilson Road pump station. This was a, a challenging uh, excavation. We brought in an emergency contractor to perform the work. 
uh, as there was a large uh, drainage culvert and storm drain and the pipe was excessively deep. Everything worked out great. Uh, various inspections throughout the month for both commercial and residential developers. Our staff flushed and cleaned 54,026 feet of sewer, gravity sewer. They performed 3,100 feet of mainline sewer inspections, as well as 100 feet of sewer lateral inspections. We did take delivery of our new sewer, uh, our combo sewer cleaner truck. We took delivery of that on the 14th of the month. We also received our Franklin Miller grinder that did go out for bid last month. Uh, we have received that, put it, assembled it, and put it in uh, in storage for spare rotation use. Uh, the the high bay garage that Joe mentioned, the water connection was supposed to take place uh, tomorrow, but with all the rain this week, it's got postponed to the 12th, which is next Tuesday. Um, our building insurgent uh, protection project was completed today. The township inspector is coming out on Thursday, the 7th. Under our safety, a floor truck lift in the, uh, in the maintenance shop had its annual OSHA inspection performed as well as some repair, minor repairs were made. The annual maintenance inspection was also performed on our crane truck. That's also OSHA required. Uh, we, we had a slight accident on uh, during the uh, snowstorm, the 10-inch snowstorm on a Saturday, the 17th. Uh, one, of our gen uh, one of our drivers uh, backed into a pole uh, within the uh, Weston Canal pump station parking lot. Some minor damage to the pickup truck, nothing to the pole, and nobody was injured. The truck. There was no connections for the month of uh, February. We are total to date of 81 and anticipated for the fiscal year of 23-24 is 80.3. That concludes my report. Uh, thank you, Scott. <clears throat> uh, before I go on, there's a little um, inconsistency between the connection report from last month to this month. Last month, uh, Scott reported 16 or 18 connections and the engineer reported none. And this, re this month, Scott's reporting none and the engineers reporting 16 or 18 and that's because of just simply when that data came in and when they wrote the reports. Uh, both have the same number if you add up February and March. So in right. case anyone wanted to catch me on a mistake, uh, that, that's where the inconsistency was. Okay. Uh, if Joe, no Joe, before you move on, Joe? Yes, sir. Be before you move on, um, I have a bit of an ask, and I don't know if this is realistic or not, but looking at the report from Mr. Bernstein's team, looking at the first one, for example, it says Hamilton Street Pump Station, nothing further to report. So does that mean that that project is done? Yeah. Um, so it, and, there's, and there's no date on it. So, um, so yeah, go ahead. So for the benefit of the commissioners, I have the vendors keeping historical data on the report. And then anything new is either colored or bolded. So uh, anything new for the last 30 days, that they, they got to highlight it one way or the other. So this way, uh, when you see a project or details within a project, it's somewhat relative to all the other projects and sometimes the details within it. But in fact, we could just delete that off the report. And I do annually tell them just to remove stuff from the report so the reports don't get too voluminous. Well, that, that was one of the things that I was gonna suggest removing them or also where it says no further report, nothing further to report, if the project is complete. Why not just put project is complete? Oh, you, well, you make a good point. Uh, for example, we have two projects that are complete, Marcy Street and Commerce. But there are uh, things that uh, we talk about and some things that I haven't even mentioned that could arise and resurrect those reports uh, that I choose not to bring up. So I leave them on, on, the, on the list. Uh, you know, uh, for example, Marcy Street, we still have 
I mean, literally now the flow meter, flow metering studies concluded, there's nothing more, but the vendor could, you know, um, the vendor could file a lawsuit seeking money that he is verbally seeking for us. And so I don't surprise the board, I keep that on there. Now, Commerce Street, that, that was a small project. Commerce Street rehab was completed, uh, not Commerce Street, Campus Drive. That also was completed, that was completed within two weeks. Uh, but the, there's so much change in that company that they never sent us an invoice. So again, if, if you don't wanna say project is, is complete, fine. But I would say at least put a date on when you're saying no further, nothing further to report. If we put a date on it, because I don't know if that means from six months ago, a year from now, or yesterday. Okay. Um, so if if it can be updated that way, Absolutely. on 17, and I'm just going to use one other example uh, on number 17, design, build, construction, procure, procurement act. Still awaiting feedback from authority. Again, a date would be helpful to know when. You know when that comment is coming from. Okay. Okay. Uh, is that the same as the city of New Brunswick? I mean, is that complete? Is that? No. So it's, uh, something's just linger on for. You know, there is no end date really. Uh, I, I leave it on the list, so we it's not forgotten. Uh, and actually, even in the engineers' report, the internal engineers' report. I leave, a, I create a whole list of things and either they report something new or they leave it nothing to report. But like New Brunswick, we have no, they're always gonna be a project ongoing. So like this month under um, my executive director of summer report, I have it on there and I have nothing to report for this month. Right, and I'm, I was, that was one of the things that I was looking at um, the city of New Brunswick and it says, at the end, we are waiting for the direction from the executive director as to same. Um, and again, when was the last time that there was a discussion that took place? It's not very clear here. So if we can get a time frame um, on that, that'd be great. So for the vendor reports, that's CME, CDM, and the attorney. Again, anything that's new within the last month will be highlighted or colored. Uh, they 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 do something to make uh, the the wording that's new uh, the, the, to jump out at you. Everything else is just historical, usually in line. But uh, I'll I'll work on getting something a little bit more um, intuitive. Well, the report is dated. The report is dated for February twenty sixth, twenty twenty four. So that should be the date of the report. Everything that's current on that report should be based on that date. Is that not correct? That's the way I read it. That's the way I read the reports. So the, like next month, the report would not be dated February 26, 2024, would have a different date on it. For, for my reports. As of that, no, I'm talking about the operations report we're discussing. The, the uh, Bernstein report, I'm sorry. But, correct. So yeah. he, he he's leaving under my direction, he's leaving some uh, within his report, he's leaving some of uh, what's in that it's historical. It's kind of old, and I was just I just did that to help you, the board members remember. Hey, what what's been going on for the last six months? And mm -hmm. he kind of uh, they're kind of writing a narrative, and at the end of that narrative, in like in his his report would be. Um, whatever's new and he'll either bold it and or he'll color it with bolded that is just this month right so, well, so I, I, for I, number I, two I, number two for the somerset street pump station my understanding was that where it's red and underlined it says our office received the three bids that were received by the authority and prepared a resolution awarding a contract to the look so that's the latest and greatest as of this report in this report yes written. Well, that, okay. well that, actually, that actually talks about that there's a board meeting scheduled for March 5th. So that's mm -hmm. really up to date. So that's yeah. talking about that. But I understand what you're saying, that this report is as of February 26th. But again, going back to the New Brunswick, City of New Brunswick report, um, there's nothing in there. I mean, the, what's in red there 
could have been, and I think it's the same wording that was at the last, at our last report at the last mm -hmm. meeting, and possibly the last one before that. So I just don't know how old that red highlighted wording is at the end of that. I, you know, so I'm just looking for a more something more specific. And uh, and just to be and just to uh, differentiate the two, if you look at the CME report, at the end of each project that's delineated, the first one, Marcy Street, at the end of that, it taught it gives you a, a date of you know where they are, what the last date was. It talks about January 18th, 2024. Um, and other other projects on here, the Western Canal pump station at the very end, it talks about January 17th, 2024. And that there was going to be a, a, a tentatively scheduled meeting with PSE and G February 28th, 2024. So that gives you more updated information. So each of the CME reports on each project has a date at the end of it. That's what mm -hmm. that's all I'm looking for, something like that. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure it's delineated. Um, and, and I have one more comment. Um, mm -hmm. Since Joe, you were talking about the project from Hell about the window replacements before. Yeah, I think I think that since uh, Commissioner and Barrison talked about earlier that he had gone to hell and back, that he should be able to um, <laughs> he should be able to put in for expenses for that trip. <laughs> I like that. that was, thank you. And he might as well one of our uh, benefits. <laughs> wow. <laughs> More food for thought. No. <laughs> All right, moving on. All right. All right, but uh, I'll, I'll redesign the reports. Uh, I'm sure it won't, won't be difficult. Thank you. Okay, if there are no other comments or suggestions or questions, I'll move on to the executive director's report. For uh, the month, as of uh, January 31st, we received 5 million $27,108.57, which is above average. The year to date collected is 12,963,881.33. 12, $12 we st still have an open balance of non metered billing of $10,354,021.92. The penalties for the month generated were $19,230.06, which is um, much higher than average. The expenses as of, and I'm sorry, I have a typo on the next two dates. Uh, it says December 31st, it's supposed to be January 31st, I apologize. Expenditures for the month to date is 478000 $463.19. Year to date is $7,696,255.42. We have spent 55% of our budget calculated and we are at 67% of the calendar, fiscal calendar. For our cash position as of January 31st, and again, typo on the report, it says December 31st, it should be. January 31st, our unrestricted cash position is $1,061,839.75. Under our restricted category, we have $13,467,940.88. Under our designated category, we have $4,849,000 and 86 cents. We have a total net position of $19,378,821.49. The discussion items, our budget process for 2024 has begun. I do not expect any increases this year, but I do have our uh, budget specialist and our financial consultant already working on it. And my operations and admin staff are in the process of putting their pieces of the budget uh, to present to me. Our 2024 audit, we did put the auditor on notice to begin scheduling it so we do not run into a, a, a late schedule or a, a scheduling conflict. 
Uh, we will be putting two smaller projects on the project board. Um, one is going to be a rehabilitation of a gravity line, a gravity sewer line on the Belmont Drive area. And another one will be, um, uh, I guess we call it the East Millstone gravity line. <clears throat> More details to come as we develop those two projects. Uh, in, uh, under a, a internal engineering, again, we had 16 connections for the February. Or if you ask Scott, we had zero, but we had 16 in January. Uh, we did have uh, four applications reviewed by our engineer that were sent to the TRC committee of Franklin Township. Under staffing, uh, I did send the chairwoman an email that the executive director's annual performance review process should be beginning. I'm waiting further to hear from the chairwoman. Uh, New Brunswick uh, water sewer bill, uh, that's an in progress, always in progress, continuing status. Uh, our federal grants that are coming through Somerset County and, uh, and the municipality of Franklin Township, I did send an email to our engineer. They're both asking for the bid documents for the Somerset Street and Brookline projects. And once they receive them, they'll start processing our 5.5 million dollar grant money. Uh, I, under shared services uh, for the municipality, uh, maybe Councilwoman and Councilman Embarrassing could tell me if you guys had voted yet on council to block off the very end of the Brookline Street. Do you know if you voted on that yet? I thought we did. Okay. We, discussed, we discussed it. I don't know if we voted on it. I don't remember discussing it. I'm not sure what the board meant. Yeah. All right. I was. Uh, I, I thought I was told that by uh, your manager that you guys would be voting on it and getting that done. Joe, okay. with your permission, with Joe, with your permission, I can I call Bob on that tomorrow. Yeah, please do because I was bringing it up for you. So yeah, handle it as you see appropriate. But I think Appreciate it. I think he can't shut down that street without the council voting on that. Yeah, I thought he told me they were voting on the 13th. Of March? No, I'm sorry, of February. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I thought. That... Okay. Thank you. It All might right. have been the consent agenda. I know we talked about it. Okay. Yeah, check uh, in with him. We might have already voted. Okay. Uh, under our standard resolutions, uh, we do have payroll, operating expense, general fund, renewal and replacement, and escrow. We do not have any North Track resolutions to vote on under standard resolutions. Under additional resolutions, we do have a resolution adopting the 23 um, the, uh, audit, uh, a resolution uh, for the developer's agreement for with Royal Somerset, a resolution executing the utilities agreement with the New Jersey Department of Transportation, resolution authorizing that execution of the utility agreement with NJDOT, and a resolution authorizing the award of a, uh, of a contract of sovereign consulting uh, for Somerset Street pump station as the lowest bidder. Uh, just other notes, I, I will note that uh, Co Commissioner DeVoe she served us very well. Her term expired on January 31st, whereas uh, Councilwoman Francois has replaced her. Um, and Councilwoman Francois's term will begin February 1st, and she will be a regular member for five years. And we will welcome uh, Commissioner Alternate Number One Robert Kovacs when he swears in, and we are welcoming Commissioner Alternate Number Two Vanessa Davenport, who is on our meeting and sworn in. And that concludes my report, Chairwoman. Joe, if I may, and Chairwoman, if I may, I uh, forwarded out to all the resolutions for tonight's meeting. Scott, thank you for just giving me a heads up that you did not receive them. So they are under. Uh, Dropbox, but I also forwarded them to all of your email addresses as well. So you will have them there. But we will read them tonight as we go through them.
Chairwoman, you're muted. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now for the committee reports, um, negotiations and personnel committee. I don't think we have anything to report on that. Okay. Uh, what about the municipal liaison? I just want to say I was not at the February 13th council meeting, so if they voted on it, that's why I don't know. But I have nothing to report. Thank you. Uh, the construction committee. Commissioner Faruqi, Commissioner Embarrenson. Do you have anything to report? Okay. Seeing that there's nothing. I'm sorry. Is that Commissioner Embarrassing? Mm -hmm. I don't have anything to report. We, we did not meet. Thank you. Uh, as far as the safety committee, I think we've already heard uh, that there were no safety issues uh, during um, the connection, excuse me, the connection, the operations um, report. Is that correct? Correct. There was no injuries, correct, but a month. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, now we're going to move on to the resolutions. Um, the approval of the resolutions will be done by consent agenda. All the items listed below are considered to be of a routine nature. Um, thereby requiring one motion and one second for all items. And if any member wishes to remove an item from the consent agenda, please advise me at this time which resolutions need to be handled separately and they will be addressed and voted on separately. Resolution number one, uh, payroll account of $167,402.22. Resolution number two, the operating expense account, $2,481,881.22. Me, the general fund expense account, $621,401.51. Renewal and replacement account, $130,770.31. The escrow fund account, $19,161. Is there a motion to accept these, to approve these resolutions? Motion to accept. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is carried. Okay. With regard to the additional resolutions, there will be a motion for each one. Resolution number six. It's a resolution authorizing the execution of a capacity allocation and developers agreement with the developer of real property designated as block 502.01, lot 47.02 on the official tax map of Franklin Township, Somerset County, New Jersey. Is there a motion to Accept that resolution. So moved. Is there a second? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Resolution number seven. It's a resolution certifying the annual audit for fiscal year 2022 to 2023. Is there a motion to accept that resolution? Motion. Is there a second? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is carried. Resolution is carried. Uh, resolution number eight. Resolution authorizing the renewal of an agreement with Privatizer Technologies LLC. Is there a motion to accept that resolution? Motion. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Resolution is approved. 
Resolution number nine, resolution authorizing the execution of a utility agreement with the New Jersey Department of Transportation. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? Motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Any opposed? Resolution is approved. Resolution number 10, resolution authorizing the award of a contract with Sovereign Consulting Incorporated for the Somerset Street Pumping Station Rehabilitation Project. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? So moved. Approved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. 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 Yep, polls. The resolution is approved. Resolution. Oh, <laughs> strike that. That's the end of the resolutions. Uh, do we need an executive? I, say, if I, may. I went through the February 13th agenda, the council meeting agenda. I did not see any resolution on the pensions uh, agenda. So usually, there's several of them that are there, but I didn't see this one related to the way they are. Okay, you didn't see the resolution related to, I'm sorry, missed the rest of it? The Brookline uh, Street closure. Is there a motion to open the executive session? I don't have a reason for executive session myself, Chairwoman, unless you do. Nor nor do I, Ms. Chairwoman. Thank you. We will move on. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. I'll make that motion. I'd be too. Right? <laughs> Everyone wants to make that motion. Is there a second? <laughs> Okay. Is that too soon? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is carried. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night.